Today I'll be showing y'all how I make these pants from my tights or my workout pants. So just keep on watching. All you're gonna need is some fabric. And obviously the pants too. I got this from Hobby Lobby years ago. First I'm gonna lay the fabric out and I'm gonna like fold it. Whichever way you put it, the stretch needs to be horizontal. So when I put the pants on, it needs to stretch like this. Okay, not like this. It needs to stretch like this when I put it on. I don't wanna waste fabric. I hate wasting fabric. And I got this instead. You're gonna get your pants and then fold it. First you're gonna find the front or the back. It doesn't matter which one you do first. Whichever one you do first. So I'm gonna do the front first. So I'm gonna fold it in half, line it up as much as possible. And then I'm gonna make sure I take the crotch out. Okay, so you can literally see the crotch. Again, you see all this fabric left over. I, I don't like wasting fabric, so I'm going to bring it in some more. A little bit. It's well. Fold it. This is the front. And then this with the little thing in the back, that's the back. So I'm going to fold it so it's the front side. Make sure I pull the crotch out and lay it down. This is super crispy. Next time. So I don't want it like tight, I want it like straight leg. Alright, now we get to the crotch. This you want to try to be as close as possible. Not as close, it just doesn't keep up. But like, whatever shape it is, try to do the same exact shape. Um, maybe I should do without this. Let's just fold this over. We can make we can make a waistband. Let's just do that instead for now. So we can always cut if we need to. Since it's on the fold, I'm gonna just cut it straight down, like down the middle, so it can be two pieces instead of one piece. And if I need to like cut any extra fabric, then I'll just cut it. I'm going to take one piece of the little set that I just cut. I'm only going to take one piece and place it on top of the fold so I can cut the back two this pieses. This front piece is on top of the fold. I just cut up the two pieces. Now I'll place one, only one on this because I don't really need both. So I'm just going to cut out the same way, but at the crotch it's going to be a little different. Just a little. just curving it a little bit more i don't even think that's how it's supposed to be but we'll see it's not explained So we have two front pieces and we have two back pieces. The back pieces are like, has like the little, like a longer crotch. That looks kind of weird, to be honest. One back is going to go with one front. And then we're going to sew. So this is one back. And the other back. And then it's going to go with one front. Now I'm just pinning it because velvet or velour, whatever it's called, like it is super slippery and it moves a lot. So you want to pin or clip it. This is what it's looking like. And clearly you can see that um, I didn't sew like the curves. Or I didn't clip the curves because I'm not about to, oh, I'm ashy. I'm not about to sew the curves right now. So the crotch curves, I'm not sewing it now. I'm only going to sew the sides. Everything except the curves.
now it's time to attach them together so we have two we have two that are inside out but just grab one pick any one and we're gonna make it right side out the right side is out and i call this the pretty one so the pretty one is gonna go inside the ugly one okay i hope you're following me make sure you, you match the seam so just place it inside the pretty one goes inside the ugly leg just place it inside make sure the seams are matching and make sure whatever shape you see make sure it goes with each other you see both seams right here throw well, both seams right here just attach them you want to go all around and clip all around This is what it looks like so far. I just place one inside the other and I make sure that uh, the pretty sides are touching each other. And I'm just gonna, I just clipped around here and now I'm just gonna show where the clips are. I didn't take out the uh, thing yet. But I wanted to show y'all how it looks when I take it out. <clears throat> so I saw this, I'm just gonna take it out. I'm gonna try this on to see how it fits. And this is what it looks like so far. I'm gonna try it on, so give me a second. And I'm gonna do a waistband as well. This is what it's given so far. I still need to add the waistband. So I can look a little, <coughs> look a little skinny. Yup. So what it's giving. It honestly looks like a, um, like night pants. Yeah. This is now we're gonna measure our waist. Whatever measurement we get, we're gonna take like two or three inches off of that so it can fit nice. Now that I'm seeing this video, I should have went up a little bit more since I know that the waistband will be up a little bit more. Now it's time to cut out the waistband. I wanna fold the fabric and make sure it's at least 15 inches on one side. So when I unfold it, it can be 30 inches. My waist was really 33 inches, but since I wanted to fit nice, um, I cut it out to be 30 inches. So the whole thing, it was 30 by four. So I cut 30 inches and then I went down four inches. So when I fold it over, the actual waistband will be two inches at the end. So this is my waistband right here. And again, it's 30 inches long now that I unfolded it and it's four inches. So when I fold it over, it'll be two inches. Then I'll sew this along the long edges and then I will turn it right side out and then I will sew it on the pants. Now I'm making the two ends meet and I'll sew this together. Now the last part is to attach the waistband to the pants. And the easiest way, I believe, to explain how to attach the waistband, because I thought it would have been a better view, but it clearly wasn't, is you just want to position it how you know you want your pants to be. So you know when you put your pants on, you don't want the seams to be showing or anything. So position the waistband to where you don't see any seams or anything. So it's like pretty. All you do is just flip it down. Okay, like this. You just flip it down. So when you sew it all together, you can flip it up and then it's really pretty. And I hope that made sense. If not, I'm sorry. And this is what it's looking like. I don't know what happened with the back. Maybe I got headed the wrong way because I didn't, I usually like mark it which one the front, which one the back. So maybe that's the reason why it looks a little weird in the back. Maybe I got on the wrong way. But yeah, I hope you guys liked it. If not, I don't know. I'll make more videos.